Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a huge favor and click that subscribe button down below for content like this and many, many more. For all your current subscribers, I just want to continue to say thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Now, what do I have next to me? I finally get my hands on a 2023 Toyota Tundra. This particular trim is the absolute highest trim, which is the capstone edition. This was introduced last year in 2022. So 2023, not as much has changed. It's almost identical. I'm gonna talk about it, go over all the features, the technologies, and then go for a final drive. Stay tuned, that is coming up next. Okay, let's talk Toyota Tundra. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is a 2023 Toyota Tundra Capstone Edition. This is the highest trim version of the truck. Uh, the differences between the Capstones and the other models is the face changes quite dramatically. So the grill on this is very luxurious. You do have these body color uh, trim here on the, on the sides. Very pronounced chrome grill. You got the Toyota Tundra name, Tundra name right there. These are the integrated fog lights on the side blue and uh, chrome toyota badge this has uh the front 360 cameras right here because this car has 360 camera and it's very nice it's a beautiful truck this is a white chill color as they call it and unfortunately under the hood there's no longer a v8 engine that was gone last year in 2022 in its place is a three and a half liter v6 engine Paired with an electric motor sandwiched between the engine and the transmission, and the powertrain makes 437 horsepower and 583 pound feet of torque. Made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. The vehicle can tow about 10,000 pounds. This being the capstone edition, it's more focused on luxury. So you do have massive 22 inch wheels wrapped in Bridgestone tires. You have chrome wheel, chrome mirror caps, as you can see here. You guys, you guys can see, you can see me there. Big, bold capstone badge on the side. Body, co body color, color moldings. And just walking around this thing, it's massive and huge. Um, definitely one of the biggest vehicles I have driven for the channel. I just want to give a big shout out to Toyota for allowing me to review this vehicle in my home test area. And getting to the back here, you have the massive Tundra badge. It does have the Toyota logo right there in chrome. Backup camera, bed cam, mirror cam, which I'll go over, over in the interior details. You do have your, your, your trailer connectors right here. And you got this one here, the seven pin connector on the side. You do have built-in trailer hitch, parking sensors all over the rear as well. These are the actual reverse lights right here. The tail lights are full LED and in, uh, in sequential, which I will show you in a second. This is what the key looks like. So press unlock. You see the tail lights are full LED. And to open the tail hitch, uh, tail tail gate, excuse me, you could do it two ways. One way is of course right here, underneath the Toyota handle. The other way is a nice, neat way. Right there, push that and there it goes. And you got a nice little side step. And getting inside the bed, it's a five and a half foot bed. You do have cargo, uh, cargo management system right here on the side. You can slide them in and out. LED lighting all over the bed. This has a sprayed in bed liner. And this has a 400 watt inverter. So you can plug it in, plug in items when you go on camp or work site, whatever the case may be. You can get a tunnel cover for this and completely cover it. One neat trick that the Toyota Tundra does is this entire glass goes down, which I'll show in the interior portion a little later. But let's continue walking around this. I run the truck, closing it. Gotta put it back up again. And the little step goes, hides away. All right, let's take a look at the interior, the technology the engine and then we go for a quick drive and before i let you guys go there is that giant iforce force max badge again this is a twin turbo v6 with an electric motor stay tuned that's coming up next
Okay, before we go in the interior, let's take a look at the major change for the Toyota Tundra, which is under the hood. In here is a 3.5 liter V6 that makes 437 horsepower, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, 583 torque, 10-speed automatic, electric and electric motor in the rear of the trend the, between the engine and the transmission you got the inverter right there which all those all those orange cables going to the battery and that's pretty much it this is a this engine is shared with the lexus ls 500 the lexus lx 600 uh so it's a proven powertrain so it's shared among other products uh and that's pretty much it under the hood nothing really much to see under here um so let's take a look at the interior the technology and then we go for a final drive okay let's take a look at the interior of the 2023 toyota tundra so to get in it of course you can get in it by multiple ways the key or you could just go put your hand right here in the door handle the mirrors unfold because they're power folding and if you leave your hand here long enough it will also unlock the rear doors and this particular trim has the, the power retractable uh, step. And just looking at the interior, this is the capstone and it's absolutely beautiful in here. Well, I don't know if white is a good idea for an interior of a pickup truck, but it is very nice, very soft padded materials. You have stitching all over the door panels. Very nice, you got rear wood trim. There's the mirror controls right here. All four windows are auto up and down nice little speaker grill this 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 trim has uh, the jbl sound system and on the side here you have the controls for everything pretty much the high beam gas you know uh trip odometer heat is heat of steering wheel control this power retractable gate you can touch it to make it to put it away you could put it off or you just leave it auto the seat has extended uh you can control it right here which i'll demonstrate when i turn on the vehicle because it's not doing it when it's off but you got lumbar support four-way lumbar very comfortable seats very plush you do have this black and white motif here the seats are heated and cooled and let's get inside and take a look at the interior of the old of the 2023 tundra you have this massive 14 inch screen which is absolutely insanity it looks like a freaking laptop screen but let's turn it on put your foot on the brake park push button is here, right here and the vehicle comes to life this is a 12.3 inch in, uh, lcd cluster so no traditional gauges the engine just fired up because maybe not enough battery juice you do have the IMAX, the MAX is the battery level, and the iForce is your built-in um, boost controller, turbo gauge, I mean, excuse me. And it's very nice, very luxurious. That's there to look at that massive screen. It's flickering on camera, but it does not flicker on in person, I promise. You do have dual zone climate control, physical controls here for the, the climate. You got heated and cool, like I mentioned, for both sides, which comes in very handy, especially on a hot day. Like today, you wanna be cooled. Uh, this car has 360 camera, like I mentioned. So there's a view of the back. You could, of course, cycle through different views. And then you got the top-down view, shows you bird's eye view of the, of the car. You have a bed cam. And these are the side views right here, trailer. Let me just see, there it is. Here's the back cam, which is pretty cool. And you can see what's going on. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. You know, um, it's very useful, especially if you're gonna be hitching up to a, a hitching up a trailer. Uh, you got front camera, front facing view. And let me see if I can figure out how to get to the backup the backup camera so let me see oh sorry about that the guides um it pretty much is very configurable it's a lot there's a lot to cover there but anyway the interior is very nice everything here is softly padded you have 
soft padded materials on the on the top of the dashboard this vehicle has a heads-up display it might be difficult to pick up on camera but you guys may see that flickering there it does not flicker in real life it's just in the camera uh, full automatic uh, headlights automatic wipers very nice leather leather wrapped steering wheel it's heated the airbag cover is actually very nice as well and very straightforward controls you got the media on the left and you have the automated cruise control buttons on the right here and big giant shifter you do have automatic parking brake right there trailer trailer brake trailer controller right here uh, built-in wireless charger cup holders a massive cubby so you got two two way you can just put stuff items right here you got a, a, a tiny cubby right here as well and you can open this massive cover to re reveal more more storage you have USB A and C in there coin coin tray which is kind of fun to see that in 2023 um, this vehicle does have very nice ambient lighting the whole thing lights up at night uh, right here this is also wood there's a word capstone in that and it lights up as well also more of that soft leather and let's take a look at the back let's take you guys and sit in the back it's the power step every time you open the door it reclines to guide you in and out and back here you do have the same materials as in the front more of that beautiful leather white leather this has built in sunshade which is very nice for the kiddos and anybody who wants to sit in the back and not be blinded by the sun uh, because this vehicle is the hybrid version the battery lives underneath the seat so if you pick, pick this up like so there's where the battery lives on the non-hybrid versions that will be an additional storage uh, capacity to sit so stepping in the back you know being that this is a massive truck i am about five foot eight i have room for days in here the seat is adjusted to how i drive here's a look at the giant panoramic glass roof uh, back here the seats are also heated and cooled so you got controls right there heated and cooled seats for both sides you have usb more usb outlets usb a and C, you have a traditional household style outlet. So plugging yourself back here is not going to be an issue. Nice deep pockets right there. That kind of looks like a speaker, which is really cool. Nice little look, but it's not. It's just the way it looks. And you have pockets there. More of that same material. Um, center mounted cup holders. But if you don't want those, you still have small ones here in the center console. If you can't reach those um, and like i mentioned in the beginning of the video that glass goes down by pressing a button in the front and the entire glass goes down which is a very cool feature and it basically gives you like a fifth window which is very unique and cool all right folks let's take a let's take the tundra for a quick drive and then we'll, i'll give you my final thoughts stay tuned for that all right let's drive the 2023 toyota tundra uh one one thing that i forgot to mention in the exterior walk around is that this vehicle has air suspension for the rear so you can adjust it and you could lower the truck to make it easy for to unload and unload items into the bed of the truck and of course it has different modes which i'll configure right now i have it set to normal mode and in Creeping driving situations like when you're low, you know, low speeds, it will it will um, keep the engine off. And also when you come to a full stop, of course, the engine turns off. Like right now the engine's off. So making a left a right turn here. And one thing that is kind of interesting is the truck has a growl on the inside, um, almost like imitating a V8. And But stepping on this thing, <laughs> it moves. This thing, 
you feel it get up and go quite quickly um, for something this big. But it's very nice. This truck is very nice. It drives, you know, it's very comfortable. So if I put it in suspension, let's say in comfort mode, and it shows you on the screen here, it shows you what's going on. That was the lane departure, lane departure warning, letting me know that I was over the lane. Um, it's nice. This thing is nice. It, yes. Is it gonna be? Is it gonna drive like a luxury sedan? No, of course not. It's not gonna drive that. You know, like that. But it's gonna. Excuse me. It's going to behave more or less like a full size SUV when you're driving around town. Um, if you're if you're a person like myself who is not used to driving something this big, it's gonna take a little bit to get used to it. Um, because if you're coming from a normal, you know, smaller vehicle, uh, this thing is, is big, so you gotta get used to, uh, it's your size, but the growl is, is pretty cool. Uh, the growl that is, that is emitting, I don't know if it's pipe, piping engine noise or anything like that, because on the outside, you don't hear it. It sounds like a normal V6 that this is. And, um... I like the, the, the steering wheel. The, I don't, I'm, I'm gonna say this is leather wrapped because it feels very nice and soft. The airbag cover. The steering wheel is also soft, um, heated as well. And let's see, if I come to a complete stop here and give the engine, yep, the engine turns off, of course. Being a hybrid, it turns off. It does give you a little indicator on the, on the cluster, the battery level, so you can know what's going on more or less. When the battery level is 100% full, then your EV range will increase a little bit and you could drive it longer on electric power versus using the engine. And of course, in stop and go situation, um, the engine, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna go into its most, if, most efficient drive mode, obviously. Um, you do have eco mode, so if I, Quick click down here. This is eco mode, so it's gonna it's gonna give uh, eco driving a priority over traditional traditional modes. But overall, this is a very nice truck. Um, I reviewed this truck last year. Uh, it was the SR5 trim of the Tundra. It wasn't this one, the Capstone, which is absolutely the top of the line and fully loaded. Um, and it shows. It shows because the other one had synthetic leather. It didn't have all the niceties that this one has. Um, and it's nice. I mean, again, for 77 grand, this feels very, very nice. I mean, it's almost like if you cover the badge and you put a Lexus emblem in here, this may be, this could be a Lexus pickup truck if Lexus decided to make a truck. Um, it's very quiet, it is very smooth for a big truck like this. And they still have capability. You know, you can still tow over 10,000 pounds and it does have a trailer cam and all the truck stuff that you want to do, this can do it. Um, you do, you can shift from two, uh, right now it's in two high, which is right here. Okay, so the mode does the, the drive, drive mode selector. So you can go from four, two high, four high and four low. You have to of course do that in neutral because it's going to yell at you if you don't. Um, and when you are in four high, the engine start stop uh, feature, this, this, it's disabled. So it will, the engine will remain on at all times. And speaking of the engine off, right now the engine is 100% off. So you could just sit here and save fuel and the engine is still off. If I, you know, feather the gas, you can kind of more or less play with the fuel. You know, and, and but it goes back and forth and it does it very seamless. You don't feel it kicking on and off. It's a very um, smooth transitioning system. And of course it is because Toyota is the leader of hybrid technology. They've been doing this longer than pretty much anybody. And that's it. That's it, folks. This has been my full review of the 2023 Toyota Tundra Capstone Edition. There's lower trims than this, of course. The, the lower trims start in the 30s. So, of course, you can go all the way up to this one, which is the absolute lo most luxurious version of the Tundra. There is also a TRD, which is geared towards sporty driving, off-roadish. It has Fox shocks, and it's, you know, the off-road version of the Tundra. 
But thank you again, Toyota, for allowing me to review this Tundra on my home test area. And thank you all for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so at the bottom. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care and stay safe.